Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the final mindfulness video for the year. So that kind of brings me different emotions, right? Like, I'm so excited to do this a video with you, but I'm also very sad that we don't get to do it again until next year. But I'm really hoping that you guys will practice your mindfulness over the summer and keep doing it so you stay healthy and happy because you deserve it, right? So, first we're going to just go through a little review of everything that we did this year, right? So the first thing we're going to review is like our mindful bodies and how we should be sitting, right? Like nice and straight, but a little bit relaxed, right? And that helps us to bring us back to our peace of mind and our safe space and keeps us nice and relaxed and calm okay so we're gonna start with a few mindful breaths are you ready and I want you to feel it go all the way in all the way down to your belly and then back up through your nose okay so here we go deep breaths hold it and out. Again, breathe in. Hold it. And breathe out. Again, breathe in. Big breath all the way down to your belly. Feel it come all the way through your nose and down to your belly. Feel it. Hold it and out. Good job. Okay. I'm glad you know how to do that one and you're still practicing really good. And the next thing we're going to review is our mindful listening, right? Because bringing you back to the moment, to moment awareness of like the whole world around you and what's happening in every moment, right? So listen carefully. Miss R can already hear the birds. Um, they're very noisy today. And I can hear my new waterfall that the beavers made in my creek. And I'm so excited about that. So are you ready? We're going to listen to the bell. And I want you to listen to not just the bell, but maybe other sounds that you hear around you, right? Because when you're listening very closely it helps you to build relationships with people but it also helps you to pay attention to exactly what's happening in that minute as you're listening okay so here we go Do you feel the peace in your body? Because I sure do. It feels so good to be relaxed and to listen to the sounds around you and what the world has like offered you every day and every moment of of your of your day and night, right? So that's that's one of the other things I want you to practice all summer is your mindful listening. Just take a minute to listen every once in a while and really hear what's happening. And it helps you with relationships because when you listen to other people, instead of always wanting to say something, it helps that person to feel like you care about what they're feeling too, right? And that's important in mindfulness, okay? So another one we're going to do right now is when, I, when we send kind thoughts to ourselves and to others, right? Because sending kind thoughts to others helps us to focus on like just being nice to people and helping them to feel better. And when we do it to ourselves, it's it's part of loving ourselves and being nice to ourselves too, right? So take a minute to like close your eyes or focus on your spot. And we're quickly going to send some kind thoughts to maybe a special person that you can think of or somebody that makes you happy, or somebody that did something nice for you, or maybe even just your like 
cat, right? Or, or something. So let's get that and get that image in your, in your like head and try and picture it when you close your eyes or focus on your spot. Are you ready? And in your mind, you can say, I'm sending you hugs. I'm sending you peacefulness. I wish you to be happy. And I'm wishing you a beautiful day. Okay, now we're going to say the same for ourselves, right? Because we want to have a good day too. So, I wish myself to be happy. I'm wishing myself peacefulness. And I'm wishing myself a wonderful, beautiful, fabulous day. Awesome. So guess what? Now you're going to have a great day and you sent somebody else a great day. I'm so happy you did that with me. Okay. <clears throat> so another one is with like when you send kind, kind thoughts, you're sending happiness to other people, right? And it's nice to do that because like nobody wants to be around cranky people, right? Or when other people are in a bad mood, it doesn't always make our day very good, right? So, and sending kind thoughts to yourself is nice because it helps you to get rid of all, like, <clears throat> I don't know, makes you focus more on, like, the good things instead of the bad things. So you're kind of blowing all your troubles away. And we're going to do that, too, with Miss R this morning. Okay, are you ready? Here they go. One more time. So nice. There they go. They're all gone. And we're all going to have a beautiful, special day. Okay? So we're doing mindfulness because, like Miss R said, when you do mindfulness, it helps you to regulate that amygdala in your brain that sends all those chemicals out when you're getting, like, cranky or when you're feeling like not very good and stuff like that, right? So they get all like, when your body gets tense and when things happen, then your brain starts to go like that. Remember Miss R told you? And then as you do your mindful breathing and listening and sending kind thoughts to yourself and others, it starts to settle back to where it should be. And it gives you that moment to respond instead of reacting like lashing out at somebody or saying something that we're going to regret later right and and so that's why we do mindfulness okay so i it's very important that you practice mindfulness through the summer even if miss r is not around okay so another one i want to do is like um sending gratitude like being grateful and thankful for the things that we have right so maybe over the summer you could get a book and you can write down all the things you were grateful for and it helps you to focus more on the stuff that's really good in your life and then your your problems don't seem as bad right so and i want you to remember to do your mindful walking and pay attention to everything that's out there in the world for you to see so you can enjoy it in a different way and you can be like so happy because i really want you to be happy you deserve it right and so um we also talked about like mindful eating okay mindful eating i want to show you something okay so if you look at this apple and i want you like if when you do your mindful eating remember you smell it smells really fresh and then you taste it and sometimes it could be sour sometimes it could be like sweet right but what do you think would happen if I like took the seeds from this apple and planted them in the ground and got a tree do you think that I would get the same apple 
No. You know why? Because we're all different. And even if you get the same apple, it's not the same because everything is got its own unique quality. So it might be the same apple, but not as red or it might be redder or it might be sweeter or juicier or it might not be as sweet and juicy, right? So it's the same as people. Like even if you're a twin or something, you're not exactly the same as your brother or sister, right? Because even like the snowflakes that come down on the earth, they're all different and unique in their own way, right? And that's what makes life so exciting. And that's why um, everybody's so unique and special, right? Because we all have our own qualities. We might have some things in common, but most of the time, like we all have unique qualities that somebody else doesn't have. And it's like the coolest thing ever, right? So now, what I want to do with you is I want to practice something. It's kind of cool, but I want to try it next year. But we're going to do this a little, little teeny like um, experiment of it right now. So you can kind of get to see what it's like. And I think you're going to like it a lot. So it's called mindful movement, but it's not like dance like we did. It's like music. And the music is different, right? Miss R has to get it up here because my computer stopped. So hang on. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to the music. And I just want you to close your eyes and listen to the music and see how your body feels, okay? So we're gonna listen to a couple different ones. So this one first. Get ready. My mouse isn't working very good. How does that feel? Where does you, if you close your eyes, where can you picture yourself with this music? And how does your body feel? Is it relaxed or is it getting excited? Okay, I want to try one more. This is a different one. Are you ready? You can clap along if you want. 